Hey, this is Drew with Daniels Ag Services with your morning report. Markets all finished up higher yesterday and they're mixed so far this morning. You've got corn and beans lower while wheat is slightly higher on the day. Uh, the markets were pretty significantly higher yesterday. I uh, had a big short covering rally, a bit of a short squeeze. It looked exactly like what a short squeeze would you expect to look at when there's no fundamental information based on why the markets were trading higher yesterday. There wasn't a big weather report that came out. There wasn't anything from the USDA. <coughs> Nothing out there in particular that should have sent the markets as high as they did. But when you get a short covering rally like that, when you've got funds that had added short positions and they need to cover those short positions, you can see a rally spark like we saw yesterday. And in the high frequency trading world that we live in today, uh, it can definitely take those rallies a lot higher than you ever think that they could be. So. And the same goes for rallies and the same goes for sell-offs as well. If you've got, they get long on the long end of the spectrum and have to cover their long positions, then the market can sell off as well and, and high-frequency trading can take it. Uh, ebb and flow much more than it used to even, say, five years ago. So moving forward, uh, weather-wise, South America, there's not really any concerns right now. It's just pretty conducive uh, for the remaining crop that needs to, to germinate and grow and what have you, and also for the harvest as well. No real issues down there, and nothing has changed here in the United States. As a matter of fact, the winter storm that kind of came through uh, got a lot of snow here in Chicago on Sunday and even some yesterday as well. That should provide some pretty good cover for the winter wheat crop and also some good uh, participation, precipitation fell uh, that will help that out as well. So pretty much just a short covering rally yesterday. There's no real rhyme or reason for it other than people were caught short and needed to cover their positions and uh, sent us much higher. So one thing it did do is it gave farmers and producers uh, a really good chance to catch up on some sales if they were behind. So that is likely going to cap some rallies. So even if we do really rally quite a bit, we could see that cap with some cash sales. So let's see how it all pans out, though. But that's all we've got for today. If you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the Risk Disclosure Access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.